The company sponsor FlowServe has tasked their team to design a mechanical mechanism that allows for the variable blade angle of a pump impeller. Throughout this video, we are going to discuss the basics of pumps, the purpose of this project, the initial design phase, prototyping, as well as our final testing loop. A traditional impeller is a cast metal component within a centrifugal pump unit used to suck fluid through its eye slash the front side and discharge it out the rear as it spins. The purpose of this project is that FlowServe does not yet have a practical mechanism for varying blade angle. Changing the blade angle affects fluid velocity and in turn other parameters. The customer might want to use the same pump and loop buffers and having this ability would save our customers time and money. To begin the design phase of this project, we started out with many different prototypes and components to create one final assembly. The internal shaft, shown here, moves back and forth in a linear way that is controlled by a linear actuator. This linear motion is then translated into rotational motion that will there and for change the blade angle on the actual impeller. After our initial design phase, we moved on to prototyping. Our alpha, beta, and final prototype are all manufactured at half scale using additive manufacturing and off-the-shelf components. We selected this manufacturing method due to the complex geometries of the impeller and the quick manufacturing time of additive manufacturing. As shown in this video, the linear actuator in the middle is moving up and down, and on the right you can see the internal shaft translating that motion into the rotational motion that turns the blades. Our remote control uses a linear actuator, an Arduino Mega, and a relay module. It allows us to increase or decrease the angle by one degree increments and reset the angle to zero. By using beads slightly more dense than water, as the impeller rotates, it creates suction, pulling the beads up through to the top of the tub to demonstrate fluid flow. Possible future work to improve our design can be more CFD analysis as well as reducing the mechanical play within the mechanism. We could also benefit from a better feedback loop of our electrical system.